Steve, looking ahead to an away game against Braintree Town tomorrow, what's the mood like in the camp after Wednesday? Yeah, mood's fine. Mood's fine. Um, it's the next test. It's a uh, yeah. It's going to be a tough game. Um, but no, look, it was a positive performance the other night, uh, despite the result, and um, yeah, a lot better than the performance on Saturday. So uh, um, yeah, look, we just need to uh, need to, to to keep working. We we'll keep following our processes that we do. Uh, keep being good people, and um, yeah, I'm sure the the results will um, turn back around. And what have you said to the players as we look to get back to winning ways? No, I think just the same messages we always we always give. Um, carry, keep carrying out the plan and um, uh, keep working hard. And um, yeah, we know we've got to tidy up at, at times, especially going forward. Um, but no, look, it was a real tough game the other night against a very very good team. Um, I thought we controlled the game in our own way. Um, we, we caused them to get frustrated. Uh, we caused them to change a little bit the second half, and uh, yeah, we was definitely in the ascendancy um, in that game. And uh, so we just didn't get that. We just didn't get that moment that, that we needed. So uh, no, look, the players uh, were all learning and growing together. And um, I said we know we know where our squad is. We know how how young our squad is, and how um, and how much growth they've got in them. And we just need to keep. We just need to keep helping them. Uh, grow and educating them and uh, um, yeah still a hell of a long way to go and you touched on it um, a positive display against Gateshead despite the result how do we uh, sort of turn those those performances into into results uh, the simple one is we just need if we'd got a goal the other night then um, um, yeah it would have been a different outcome we just, look, we just need to just keep performing just keep putting performances out there you look at how good we was for 45 minutes, especially against Hartlepool. Um, I said the frustrating thing the other night was we didn't score because we normally score a goal at least, don't we, in a game? And uh, um, yeah, look, we're not focused on one game; it's focused on the bigger picture. And uh, um, as I said, I think I said it after the game the other night. There's so much positivity around. There's clubs going in such a, a nice direction with everyone's uh, hard work behind the scenes, and uh, the players are working incredibly hard. And as long as we're all all together and keep pulling in the right direction, then we're then we'll get to where we where we need to get to, and uh, yeah, I said we're on a journey, and it's not going to. There's going to be ups and downs. Um, uh, you never see what's going on behind the scenes. You never see what's going on um, apart from what happens on the pitch. So um, look, I think there's lots of positives, and there's lots of positivity to keep to keep focusing on um, and get dumbed down by the by the results. Um, you just uh, um, as quickly as you lose one, you win one as well. So. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I said. Hopefully, we're talking at five o'clock uh, with a positive result. And Braintree themselves are looking to bounce back from a couple of defeats. What challenge do you expect from them? Yeah, look, it's a, every game is just legs. This league's crazy. It's uh, there's no easy games. There's no games where you just think you turn up, you're going to win, and there's no games um, you turn up and you're thinking you're going to get battered because these are so much better than you. Um, look, it's just going to be another test, and it's our next one. It's an away game, which are always tough. Um, I said they're scrapping for their lives. We're scrapping for our lives every day. So, uh, um, yeah, look, it'll be a tough one. It's one we need to. Uh, uh, they did really well to get promoted last year. Obviously, we've got their goalkeeper for last year, so it will tell us everything we need to know about them. And um, yeah, look, it's a tough test. One we're looking forward to. And do you have an update on Lewis Simper's injury after last weekend? Yeah, he's still injured. Uh, <laughs> he's still injured. He's going to be out for a few weeks. So, uh, um, yeah, we look forward to him, him being back. How about um, any other team news with uh, Harry Ransom and Hayden Muller? Do, do you have an update on their return? Uh, yeah, they won't be back for uh, until at least after the Birmingham game. So, um, yeah, we're not focusing on them right now. We're uh, concentrating on the players who are fit because uh, they're the ones who are going to take to the field. And, uh, um, yeah, they're, uh, all those players are a while away. All right, cheers, Steve. No worries.